In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell wallpapers on Gumroad. Now before we start, I'm just going to brief you real quick on what exact topics we'll be covering in this demonstration. So for starters, I'm going to show you how you can create your own wallpaper using Canva. And from there, I'll show you how you can change it, change the image or the wallpaper file into different sizes so that you can use the actual image as a cover photo, a thumbnail, and the actual uh, wallpaper that you're going to sell. After that, I'm going to show you a quick trick on how you can prevent customers from simply copying or downloading the cover photo rather than buying it first. Now, lastly, I'm going to show you how you can list that product as a sellable product on Gumroad. So let's begin. Now the first step you need to do is to log into your Gumroad account and if you have a Canva account you're going to want to log into that as well. However, you can also use Canva for free without signing up or signing in but it would be beneficial if you sign in because you'll be able to save your uh, creations and your templates. Now you don't need a subscription for Canva to do this, but it can be beneficial as well since you'll have access to a lot of uh, tools and presets, if you may. So uh, you can make use of that if you wish to subscribe to Premium. But for this example, uh, we're not going to be making use of those features. So from here, what you'd want to do is click on File and then create a new design. Now here, we're just going to type in wallpaper so that we'll have the specific dimensions for this kind of product. So we have here a desktop wallpaper. So we're going to go with that. It's going to open a new tab right here with the dimensions of a desktop wallpaper. Now here, I'm just going to make use of a sample uh, wallpaper design Canva has. So let's say that this was my design. Again, you're free to make it from scratch or edit the details of your wallpaper. So for example, you want to add more elements, you want to add more images, or you want to change this uh, phrase here, which is like a mini poetry. You can do so. But for now, we're going to stick with this example. So this will be our main uh, wallpaper that we're going to sell. So what you're going to do with the wallpaper is click on share and then download. So it's suggested that we keep it at PNG for complex images and illustrations. Now we're just going to go ahead and download this raw file. This will serve as our uh, main product for the wallpaper. Now, what we're going to do is create another design for the thumbnail, which is uh, supposed to be by square. So it's 600 by 600 pixels. Let's see if we can find a default custom size 600 by 600 pixels, then create a new design. Now we're going to try to incorporate our wallpaper here. Maybe for this example, we're just going to use this plant to fit the square. So I'm going to copy the image and resize it just a little bit and then we're going to copy that background just like that so now we have a thumbnail now what we're going to do next is head back to gumroad since we already have our raw file of the wallpaper and then we have a raw file of the thumbnail so in Gumroad, once you're at the home page, we're just going to look for products right here on the left side of the screen. 
give it a click and then we're going to create a new product by clicking this pink button right here now from there we're going to name our product let's say uh plant poetry wallpaper something like that make sure digital product is selected since we are selling a digital product which is the wallpaper now down here we're going to price the product let's say we're selling it for 15 dollars a piece and then click on next to customize the details further now from here we're going to create our description so i'm just going to put in download hd wallpaper of plant poetry something like that then i'm just going to put in a reminder to uh the customers that this is not allowed for reselling and then if you want to customize the url you can do so over here if you have a custom domain you can also add it over here now here we find ourselves in the uploading of the cover photo so what we'd like to avoid here is to just simply upload the raw file so in that case we're going to want to put a watermark so that it will prevent customers from just downloading the cover photo and using that for free so here we're going to head back to canva and then we're going to add ourselves a watermark so for this example i'm just going to search for a watermark now actually it should be under elements not design so we're going to head to elements first on the left side of the screen and then look for a watermark now if you'd like to uh actually it's recommended that you have your own watermark so that you'll have your own copyright for that image or wallpaper but for this example let's say this is my watermark this x right here so i'm just going to add it make it a bit smaller and put it right on the bottom right section of the screen just like that now i'm going to do the same with our thumbnail right here so i'm just going to paste it just like that so that we have a watermarked version of our thumbnail and our uh, cover photo. So besides the uh, raw file we had earlier, we now have a cover photo that has the watermark so that it's uh, safer to publish. Now here, I'm just going to download this. And then I'm also going to download my thumbnail. All right. So we now have three files ready in our computer. Again, just to recap, we have the raw file for selling. We have the cover photo, which has a watermark. And then we have a thumbnail that also has a watermark. So we're going to go back to Gumroad right here. And we can already upload our cover photo. So we're just going to select the one with a watermark and let it upload right here. As you can see on the right hand section of the screen, there should be a preview and there is our file with the watermark. Now we scroll down, add the thumbnail, upload the file. We're going to go with our thumbnail a while ago with the watermark and then there we have it now for the product info i'm just going to change the call to action to buy this and then you'll get a an hd downloadable plant poetry wallpaper now you can add more details if you'd like or if necessary right here but we're not going to be needing that for this example you can also add integrations uh, double check the pricing allow customers to pay what they want or if you have versions of this product you can add them right here now under settings you can see that 
we can also do a bunch of things let's say uh, we want to publicly show the number of sales on our product page and then that should be good for now so once that's done we're going to save and continue now here under content we're just going to upload our image so we're going to insert image right here this icon and then we're going to upload the original file that has no watermark and we're going to let that upload there we have it it's ready to go once that's done and everything is checking out we're just going to go ahead and click on publish and continue and our product or wallpaper will be ready we can also share them on our social media right here and we can categorize this design wallpapers like that you can also add tags if you'd like just to boost the uh, google searches and once you're satisfied though with those just click on save changes now you see this preview icon over here we're going to give that a click to see how it looks live online and we have the plant poetry wallpaper over here and once the customer clicks by this then they'll be taken to this page right here or uh this uh cart page where they can put in their details to pay for the product and that's about it that's how we sell wallpapers on Gumroad. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out.